back. They say if you don't learn from history, you're doomed to repeat it. And one Oklahoma author can attest to that after completing a history book on the Sooner State. He tells our Carl Torp it was a lot harder than he thought in tonight's Red Dirt Diaries. From the boots, bolo tie, and cowboy hats. To look back and go, wow, look what those people did. Southern Nazarene University professor John Dwyer looks like some of the history makers he writes about. What I am, in essence, is a storyteller. And his latest story, a colossal one to tell, the Oklahomans. Well, I had no idea we had such a magnificent and epic history. And Dwyer would meticulously find that out at the Oklahoma History Center as we witnessed his excitement after a new find was hard to hide. Every time I open up one of these, I'm like, whoa, that's interesting, uh, Choctaw Code Talkers. Other pieces of the past would be revealed in this archive vault. There are more than 10 million images of Oklahoma history kept at the center, and employees helped narrow down the ones that Dwyer picked for his book. I think it was folded like this when they mailed it, and so this is what you would see. Mm. I'm a little bit obsessive compulsive, which can be difficult, but it's probably helpful in a book like this. In fact, the author still obsesses over items never found. And this great declaration of settlement, we looked for years. Like Cherokee leader Elias E. Boutineau's article, A Call to America, which appeared in the Chicago Times and encouraged settlers to come and discover Oklahoma. And on the day in 1879, when that appeared as an op-ed in the Chicago Times, we opened up that day's canister and that newspaper is missing. If you get the idea from Dwyer's thoroughness that writing the Oklahomans took a while, you'd be right. Try 10 years. Amazingly, it did finally get finished. There were times we were wondering. <laughs> this is only one book, though. In two years, on Statehood Day, November 16th, Dwyer details all the way up to the present in Volume 2 as he continues to learn and be inspired by those who came before him. This is a people of grit that doesn't give up, that keeps coming back. In Oklahoma City, Carl Torp, News 9. Gotta have that. Yeah. That would make a great Christmas present. It would, too. Yeah. Oklahoma History Center, too, is a great place to visit. It has a really nice yeah. library there, a lot of history.